Hola, party people. This is Alicia Monet, and I have something to say. I just want to state that I am very grateful. I just want to thank my spiritual team and all of the people who are supportive of me, and all of the people who, um, all the teachers that have appeared. You know, once the student is ready, the teacher appears. Well, um, I'm just really thankful for all of the teachers who've appeared in my life for me and um, the friendships that I'm developing with these beautiful beings that are doing wonderful things, things that I aspire to do. And I see um, the ambition and I see the love and the light in them. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel that same light and that love. And it really helps me to realize and understand that really iron does sharpen iron. And so I'm very thankful on my journey. Um, this past year has been the most magical year of my life, hands down. Like, I've had some magical years, too, let me tell you. Um, but this has been by far the most magical because all of my magic was focused intentionally, and it was done very consciously. It wasn't like I accidentally, you know, things accidentally happened. And I just seen a bunch of synchronicities, which happens often throughout the past years of my life. So... With this, I was like, I consciously did this. And so the difference is where I'm out on my journey, I mean, consciously, um, consciously doing everything that I'm doing. I've met up with some wonderful people who have services and products that have helped to help me to heal, help to revamp my life tools in order to get me where I need to be and where I'm going. And I'm very grateful and thankful for that. And I, um, all of these people, like when I go to I call certain people to get readings done or, you know, I buy certain products and services and I talk to these people that I'm purchasing from. I find that these people and I end up having a relationship that's beyond the scope of client and provider that you know it's it always ends up being more than just that it always ends up being like a friendship and so I'm like so thankful for that it's just a reflection of what's going on on the inside of me and the purity of my heart and so on and so forth you know especially with me being on my own now and remembering who I am and things like that, I'm attracting people who remind me more and more of who I am and realizing that just as they're a breath of fresh air to me, I'm a breath of fresh air to them as well. And through them and through the friendships that I'm developing, realizing my value more and realizing, um, you know, realizing my value and realizing um, what's inside of me what I'm projecting out what I'm magnetizing and I love it I love what I'm magnetizing I love these divine reflections of myself and I'm just very grateful and thankful for where I'm at right now it's so totally not what I was taught in the church because I know that once you leave the church World Mission Society Church is at it's like well now you're under Satan's rule yeah, so um, I'm very thankful for this. It's totally not what the church teaches. They teach that after you leave the church, you're in Satan's. Satan takes over your mind, and you know, you're just down with the devil now. They even teach you. Because I remember before I left, some sisters asked me, how come it seems like people who are not in the truth are so blessed and that we have so much hardship and burden on us. So, another thing I wouldn't be surprised about is if you are doing well after leaving the church, it's because, oh, because it's Satan and life is easy. Let me tell you something. My life, since I left the church, has not been any easier. My life before... Actually, I take that back on my mind is free of fear, shame, and guilt. So, yes, that is way easier. What I mean by that is I still have challenges. Okay, I had challenges before I joined the church. I have challenges now as I'm growing, as we all do. So, my challenges, my um, 
are not due to the fact that I left the church. At the same time, I did have to go through deprogramming my brain, and I'm still working on it, okay? So, the blessings that I have now, and all the beautiful things that I'm manifesting now, is hard work, is dedication, is, um, is possible. And it takes time. Oh... Uh, uh, so I just wanted to let you guys know that.